Hmm. Water. Why do we have so many different types of water? Don't they all taste the same? I mean, they all look the same. Hmm. Don't they all feel the same in our mouth? Pause. Hmm. Now, today I had a chance to test four different water types. And what we're going to be testing is the pH level of each water. Number one, Zem Zem water, which is the holy water from Mecca. The second one is Kanjin water, which is water created from an ionized alkaline water machine. Number three is Aqua Gear filter water, which is a filtration system that you just give it tap water from, put in the filter, you know, purify the water. And last but not least is pure water from your tap tap water at home. Now, here's the thing. Every water, even though they look the same, has different type of pH level. Now, just to give you an idea of what the pH level we're talking about, pure water, pure water with nothing added to it or nothing else, has a pH level of around seven. And on the color grade, seven is usually represented by the color green. Now, the higher the, the pH level, the more alkaline the water is. A lot of time people are saying drink more alkaline water to live a healthier lifestyle. In addition to that, people are also saying that when you drink more alkaline water, it kind of help you age slower. In addition to that, it kind of also help you um, block certain chronic diseases such as cancer. So it's, always, it's been promoted a lot of time for us to drink a lot more alkaline water. Now the thing about our body is that our body is composed of about 80% of water, right? And so when you drink alkaline water, alkaline water generally are full of minerals, right? And so these are the minerals that our body needs in order for our body to thrive like the way we need it to do so. So the more um, alkaline you drink, the more alkaline water you drink or consume, the easier it is for your body to do what it gotta do. On the other hand, when you drink uh, a lot of um, beverages that are more acidic, um, you make the job harder for your body because now it doesn't have enough mineral in order for it to you know, properly maintain the body functions. And a lot of time, the soda that we drink are more acidic. That's why it's not recommended to drink too much soda because you're adding more acid to your body than your body needs. It's very, very unhealthy. So it's always encouraged to drink a lot more alkaline water. Even when it comes to like your skin and having a, a smoother skin, you can get all the moisturizer in the world that you want to get. But the key ingredient to moisturize, moisturizations are usually water. And so water is very, very important to our body. And also having the proper type of water in your body is equally as important as well. Now between the four water that I just mentioned, which one has the highest pH level? And in other words, which one is more alkaline? That's what we're gonna find out in a minute. Stay tuned. Where are we gonna test out Kanjin water, aqua filter water, aqua gear filter water, I'm sorry, and Zem Zem water, okay? And this is the scale, as you can see here. Pay attention to the color scheme, right? Dark red here, meaning that it has a very, very low pH, right? And then the more the numbers increase, the darker the color, all the way until we get about purple. Right, so we're gonna see. And this is the chemical that allowed us to test the uh, the pH level. The Kanjin water. And let's see if I could do this with one hand. All right, it's the Kanjin water. Aqua gear water. All right. So we have the Zen Zen water. Now I just switched the filter. If you don't know Zen Zen, you should probably Google it. You'll see. Alrighty. Okay, so again, here's the scale. Alright, so let's go. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so let's see. So we don't need a lot of drum. We put about three, three or four drops in each one. So let's start with the tap water. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Check it up a little bit and see. 
Wow, this is crazy, unbelievable. You know, from from from, from before I, 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 I uh, put the chemical in there, didn't they all just look look alike? I mean, sometimes we think all oh, water are the same, but apparently not. Apparently not, right? Because now look at the, this different shade of color that we're getting now. So definitely, all water are not the same. You know what, I want to add a little bit more to each water. Okay, just a little bit more. Yeah, each scale. This is very purple, very, very purple. Pungent water. And that, they usually promote the water having about 9.5. Now the pungent water, it's kind of hard to get there. You gotta get the machine. I have a video, um, that talks about that. It's a separate video. I'm probably gonna upload it for you guys. So here we have it, right? Now the darkest color is the kangen water. So that's the most pure out of all of this, right? That's very close to purple. I mean, I think it's pretty much purple if you can see, right? And from the kangen water, I will set the next one. It would be zemzem water. So Zem Zem water, we'll go here. Right. <laughs> and then, hmm, I think the tap water, which is pretty much similar to the aqua gear filter water, right? It's kind of pretty much similar to me, right? It's just a little bit of a shade of a difference, right? Um, and so, which is about normal because this water here, the water that goes in here is from the tap water, so it filters that water out, but it doesn't really enhance that pH that much, right? Because the filter itself doesn't do that. The filter only removes chemicals and chlorine from the water, but it doesn't really enhance the pH. In order for you to do that, you need some sort of electromagnetic system um, that will kind of like split the molecules of the water. But this filter doesn't do that. The filter doesn't do that. So this is what we have, right? Look at the Zamzam though. Look at the Zamzam water. It's really not that far from me, right? It's blue because it goes from blue to purple on a scale. Right, you see that? It goes from blue to purple. So Zamzam water is pretty, it's a pretty good water, right? And we have the tab and the aqua water. Now, what if we pour this into, into the other one? So, let me see. Let's pour the water. Hmm. It got a little bit more dark. What if I do the same thing to the tab water as well? So it definitely has an influence. Now, what if we do it the other way around and I pour some of this water, which is almost a neutral color pH into this and they have an influence. I'm not gonna keep, I don't want this thing to be too long. So there you have the different water. So water does matter. All water are not the same. All water are not the same. So from this here, the best water that I have right now is the conjunct water. And if you wanna know how to get that, let me know. Um, and then after that, we have the Zem Zem water. Um, I, I, I poured it out in this bottle. This is not the original bottle, but I just poured out in this bottle because I have a bigger bottle of the Zem Zem water. And after that, now the next one is the aqua gear um, filter water. Definitely, you know, uh, there's a little bit of a difference between. And lastly, it's the, pee, it's the tap water, which is still neutral, right? But obviously you could drink better water. There's better water out there. So not all water are the same as you can see from here, all right? Now to show you an example of what an acidic water looks like, here I have the Kangen water, which with a pH level of 9.5. 
Over here I have a Sprite bottle, right? A regular Sprite drink. I just removed the label. And I'm just going to pour that in here and you will see the difference, the visual presentation of an acidic water versus um, an alkaline water. All right, and so here is the pH level tester liquid that we're gonna try. Now look over here. This is Canyon water, remember? Canyon with a pH level of 9.5. This is Sprite. Now look, look at the two water. Look at the two water, look. Acidic and alkaline. You see? Now, before we pour the, 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 the tester in there, you see how they both look the same. They both merely look the same. Now, when we put the liquid, you see the difference between the two. Now, I'm gonna stir this up a little bit so you can see more. Right? Look. Look how acidic this is. I mean, look. This is what we consume whenever we drink soda. This is how much acid we are putting inside our body. You could clearly see the difference between the two water here. All right, fellas and ladies, the moral of the story is stop drinking so much soda. Cut that off your lifestyle. It's not good for you or your health at all. You know, the more acidic drinks you have, the more acidic um, items you put in your body, the more you're destroying your body. And so make a habit, make this a new habit that you're gonna drink more water. Some people say the average man should drink about 128 ounces of water per day. Some say the average female should drink about 88 ounces of water per day. All I could say is if you could grab a gallon of water per day, you'll be all right, all right? Just stop putting all this other poison in your body. Those acidic drinks are not healthy for you. That's the reason that you'll see when someone drinks a lot of soda, their stomach get bloated. There's a lot of gas in your stomach. When you pee, your pee is kind of yellowish and stuff it's because your body is working so hard to get all those chemicals out of your body. It doesn't need it. So help your body live a healthier lifestyle for yourself. Get more water in your body, get more alkaline water in your body, get more minerals in your body, and you'll live a healthier lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Prince Cool. This is another SOS video. If you like it, destroy the like button and leave a comment below for me and everybody else that you want to talk to. Till next time, signing out.